sit right down, let's talk on Blackwell's Bench. Hey folks, welcome back to Blackwell's Bench. We're here today to tell you, oh my gosh, today we're gonna deal with a subject. We're gonna deal with a subject. How to live right in a world that is so wrong. Don't let the world squeeze you into a mold. Man, oh man. This subject is, we went over this in Sunday school and I've dealt with my kids with this subject and we've done so great. I'm so proud of my kids in Sunday school that they have dealt with this so good. This subject is how to live right in a world so wrong. Man, this subject is so dear to my heart. And one of the things that we dealt with is not conforming to the world. Not conforming to the world. And you know the scripture, be in the world, but not of the world. Transforming your mind, renewing your mind. Romans 12, 1 and 2. Man, that is the scripture that tells it all. We can live in this world, but we don't have to be of the world. We can live right here in this world and not be of the world. I gave the example of this. We're like a ship on the water. We're like a cruise ship on the water. We're in the water, but the water isn't on the ship. And what happens when the water gets on the ship, the ship starts to sink. That's what we are. We're this vessel. We're this Christian vessel in this world on the water. We're sailing along. We have to be in this world, but we don't have to be in the water because the water will consume us if, we, if the water gets on our ship. I'm telling you right now, folks, we have to be in this world, not of the world. We have to transform our minds. We have to renew our minds. By the way we renew our minds is this. We have to, hell, let me get it. We have to be in the book, in the book, night and day. Now I'm not sitting here telling you that you have to be in this book 24 hours a day reading, 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 reading. But whenever you get into a situation, whenever you get into a situation, stop and pray. Say, Lord, help me. Help me through this situation. Memorize a verse. Memorize a verse. Keep that verse with you. My favorite scripture, my favorite scripture is Proverbs 4, 7. Whoo! It says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. But in all thy getting, get understanding. Man, oh man, if we just understand, if we just understand, and how do we understand? We got a 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself approve unto God. A workman needeth not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. Man, when you rightly divide the word of truth, and you seek ye first the kingdom of God, all these things shall be added unto you. Don't worry about it. God has a blessing for everybody. If we transform our minds, if we renew our minds and transform and think on godly things, God has a blessing for every. We, we can't even handle the blessings God has for us. Folks, like I always tell you, Renew your mind, transform your mind, study to show thyself approved, get wisdom, but get understanding. But guess what? There's a seat for everyone on Blackwell's Bench. There's a seat for everyone on Blackwell's Bench. If you are on Facebook, Make sure you go to YouTube and subscribe to Blackwell's Bench. Hit the notification bell and like and share all the videos.